Hi everyone, it's Tammy and we are in the kitchen again. Today I'm going to make broccoli cheese soup. I am aware that it is 70 degrees outside, but it is always good so that I really have no other reason to make it other than the fact that it's yum-o and it is vegetarian and my daughter is here. So it is Saturday and we just thought we would have a nice soupy dinner and I'm also making some bread. I, I just bought a frozen loaf and it's on the stove right now just rising. So I'm going to show you the lineup. We have, um, how many ounces is this? 32 ounces of half and half, which is quite a bit. We don't have to use that much because I think that translates into four cups and I usually use about two or three. Um, some salt and pepper, some milk. A okay, so the things that we need are half and half. This is 32 ounces. I don't know if I'll use the whole thing. I may use more of this and less milk, but it'll be extra creamy and decadent. Salt and pepper, and again, don't you love these little retro salt and pepper shakers? They were my grandma's. Some nutmeg, a stick of butter, and I'm using frozen broccoli. If you were using fresh, you might use, I don't know, three or two of those heads of broccoli. So I'm just going to use probably about half of this 40 ounce bag, and then a chopped onion. So first thing I'm going to do is melt the butter in the soup pan and then I'm going to add the onion to that and let that thicken or let that uh, like soften and get translucent. And then I'm going to add a third cup of flour, which I also didn't show. And I also don't have the cheese out because we will add that later. So I will get a third cup of butter, but I will show you when I'm doing that third cup of flour. Excuse me. So I have added the butter and the onion to the pot. My pot may have been a little too warm. It's kind of brown in the butter and onion. But that's all right. I'll just stir this around until it, the butter melts and the onion gets translucent. It'll take two or three minutes. I'm going to go ahead and get my flour ready. Oops, I don't have very much left in my little jar, but I'm sure I have a third cup, so I just need to find it. So. Ooh, I just made a little bit of a mess trying to do it with my left hand. Lord knows my left hand isn't made for much. Just to make me a lot look lopsided. smells really good. I love the smell of onion. Here's the bread. It's just a frozen loaf of bread that I got at the store. I think it's made by Rhodes. And I just um, oiled the pan and put the frozen loaf in and oiled that and put some plastic over it. So hopefully it's, I'm going to let it, it should, it, and it was frozen when I started. So it's, it's coming a long way, but it takes four or five hours. So you do have to prepare that early. And I got it out probably probably close to four hours ago now. And I'm just letting this get a little more translucent. I just kind of did a rough chop on these because I am going to use my emulsion blender to, to blend up the soup. So it's okay that it's a little bit, you know, not, it's okay that it's a little chunky. And then I will slowly add some flour to this to make it thick. you add it slowly maybe so it won't burn or I don't know but I just know that that's the way I was taught and my idea of slowly may be less slow than other people's because I am not very patient when it comes to stuff like this So I do about three or four tossings in and I call that good. And just stir it around after each time. I tried to 
telling my daughter that it was maybe too hot for soup today, and she said, Mom, I just don't understand how it can be too hot for soup. If we went to Panera, you'd get soup. And she's right, I would. So, she talked me into it. I didn't really have anything else planned anyway. And Dennis's kids are here as well, and they won't eat this, but that's okay. They're kind of the chicken nugget pizza kind of kids. That looks good. And I'm going to add some cream. So if I can get the lid off. They put these things on so hard. I should have been more prepared. Okay, so I ooh, I dumped some. I shook it up. I'm gonna use about half of it, I think. See how that goes. And then I have 2% milk. I think I'll add a little bit of that. Let me clean up the stove mess. Uh, and if this is too thick, we can always add some chicken broth. But usually I wait until after I've um, added the, or after I've emulsified it before I add the chicken broth. And I don't know how much milk I just added. I will leave the recipe in the bottom if I can find it. But it's about, I don't know, I used about two cups of half and half and about three cups of milk. And I will let that get nice and warm. And I will add my broccoli. Okay, so there's the broccoli. And I added about half of that to here. I don't know, maybe, maybe a little bit less than half, but this kind of looks like enough broccoli to me. So I'm going to sprinkle in some nutmeg and a little bit of salt and a little more pepper because the cheese will have some salt in it too. I'm using the prepackaged cheese. So I don't want to add too much salt in them if you want more. You can add more to taste. So pepper and salt. My daughter doesn't like to use salt, but I tell her that that's where the flavor is. You've got to add some salt and then some nutmeg. And nutmeg is good with any green vegetable like spinach or broccoli or Brussels sprouts. Anytime you're cooking something like that, I don't know why, but um, I was taught to put, sprinkle a little bit of nutmeg in. So I do, when my grandma tells me to do something, she's usually right. And my mom did it too, so the two of them combined, you know, I think my mama was a saint and my grandmama was probably too. I do not carry on that trait. So there we go. I'm just going to let that simmer for about 30 minutes or so, and then I will show you again before what I do. Okay, so I'm just coming back to the soup. It's been, I don't know, 20 or 30 minutes. I'm just going to stir it up. And it's obviously boiling, which is good, but I'm going to let it simmer a little bit. And I'm going to go ahead and emulsify it now. I'm not going to add the cheese just yet, but I'm going to turn on the oven for the bread. Oops, except for I turned it off. Start. And the bread really hasn't risen much more than it had, so that's all right. And if you guys have an emulsion blender, then you know how this works. If you don't, you just kind of stick it in and let it do its magic. If you don't have one of these, don't run out and buy one for the soup. I mean, it's really not that important. You can eat it uh, just as easily with the big broccoli florets in it, or if you wanted to put it in a blender, you could do that too. I just find this to be easier. Sometimes you have to kind of reach up and get some of the broccoli. And you can leave some chunks if you want to. Um, you don't have to. I don't think I'm going to. La la la. I'm 
just stir it around to see if I feel any more chunks. Oh, I see a couple. And that in itself will thicken it up a lot. And then when I add the cheese, if I feel like it's too thick, I will add a little bit of, uh, oh, this has gotten dark, sorry. I, I will add a little bit of chicken broth if I feel like I need to, but. All right, well, that's how it's gonna look for now. And I will come back when I add the chicken broth and I'm going to turn this down. It's on five five now. I'm gonna turn it down to about two, I think. So there we go. Okay, so it's been, I don't know, 15 minutes or so, and I'm just gonna stir it up again. And I am gonna go ahead and add the cheese. This smells really good in here. And I love this soup pot, but it does tend to stick to the bottom of the soup pot, but and it's always fun to get the, the crud off the bottom. It's so much fun. So I'm using this Fiesta Blend cheese. We're gonna add about three cups. You can use whatever cheese you have, whatever cheese you like. Um, cheddar's always good. Oh, uh, I would even say that if you had like, I don't know how to say it, that Guerrero cheese, Guer I don't know, the one that starts with the G that's really good in French onion soup, that would be good. Um, any cheese, really. And I'd say three cups, but if you want to add a little more or less, whatever. And I'm going to let this simmer for a little bit longer. And I'm going to taste it to make sure that it tastes the way I expect. It takes no time for that cheese to melt. Mm -mm, good. So let's see, I'm going to get a little spoon out of spoons and I'm going to just take a little taste it's gonna be hot okay I think it needs still a little more cheese and some more salt Oh, now I'm not measuring my cheese, so I really have no idea how much I'm adding, so. And I bought a big package of it, and I used some. The package that I had was eight cups, and I'd probably already used at least two, so it probably only had six cups left. So I probably could have um, just used more. Oh, that might be a big clump of cheese or is it a big broccoli I think it's cheese so I'm just stirring 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 and I'm gonna add some salt hello I know I've been up there for a long time <laughs> yes, you have. Katie. well cool We've been chit -chatting. well good deal I really like this okay that seemed to do the trick so the soup is about ready. I'm just going to let it finish cooking while the bread is cooking. I also have some french fries in the oven for Dennis's kids. I'm just going to take a peek at the bread. Oh, it's looking good. So I'll just let that cook for a little longer and then it'll be time to serve it up. All right, so here's the finished product. We got our bread and our soup and we are ready to eat, aren't we, Kate? No. <laughs> she doesn't want in this time. 